The internet's just not about people, right? It's also about stuff. It's all the things that we find online. Where does all that stuff come from? Some of it's paid for, some of it's not. Some of it's free, some of it requires us to shell out money. But the biggest fundamental change to how we relate to content and the economics of how things are produced and distributed in the world is the fact that the internet allows us to distribute perfect digital copies of anything. So this is really a case where we've combined the abilities of computers to deal with and store digital content and the internet as a content distribution network that allows us to send perfect copies of anything anywhere. This has really fundamentally changed uh, some of our notions about how content works. So for example, in the past, if I stole something from you, then I had it and you didn't. And this is still true of physical objects. If I take Greg's headphones away, then I have them and he doesn't. With a digital song, for example, I can make a copy of that and Greg can have it and I can also have it. So does that constitute stealing or not? The concept becomes more complicated and the ecosystem of how things get paid for becomes more complicated when it's possible to make an unlimited number of identical copies of something and distribute them all over the world. Good things about this, we've seen um, remixes, we've seen um, you know, a lot a broader content ecosystem, we've seen people attacking middlemen that were sort of siphoning off funds, being able to contribute directly back to content creators that they like. Obviously, there have been also some very problematic aspects as well. Um, we've seen it be, become more difficult for creators in certain areas to make a living because uh, existing financial models for supporting them have sort of fallen away. Uh, we've seen it uh, be possible for people, much more difficult for people to enforce copyrights on things that they own. Um, and in certain cases, we've seen huge impacts on entire industries, like the newspaper industry, um, that may have very, very bad omens and may portend very poorly uh, for the fate of our society as a whole. So this is a very interesting area, an intersection between technical capabilities, um, legislation, legal doctrines, and stories about how the internet and the availability of digital content online is changing and disrupting many different parts of the world around us.